geysers and hot springs for kids. Have you ever seen something like this before? Do you know what it is called? If you said it is called a geyser, then you are correct. This particular geyser is called Old Faithful and is located in Yellowstone National Park. The water surrounding this geyser is called a hot spring. Today, we are going to learn more about geysers and hot springs and do a little experiment while we learn. Ready? Let's go! First off, let's talk about geysers and what they are. Geysers are natural pools of water that sometimes erupt, sending steam and hot water into the air. Geysers are the result of hot magma heating water deep in the earth. The resulting pressure of this reaction then forces the water to the surface of the earth. Here is an interesting fact. The word geyser comes from the Icelandic word geyser, which means to gush, and geysers totally gush. Geysers are a specific type of landform that always have the following characteristics. First, geysers have a narrow opening. Next, geysers spew water and then steam on a repeating cycle. Last, geysers are always found in places with a lot of geothermal activity, most often near volcanoes. Remember how we said that geysers are hot pools of water that sometimes erupt? Well, hot springs are those pools of water. These springs are also filled with minerals. Like geysers, hot springs are also a result of magma heating water underground. This water then rises to the surface of the earth and forms into pools. Unlike geysers, however, hot springs do not erupt or gush. The reason they are called hot springs is because they are pockets of water that are hotter than the surrounding ground or air temperatures. The water in a hot spring is usually 98 degrees Fahrenheit or hotter when it comes out of the ground. Here is an interesting fact. Some hot springs can turn into geysers. This happens when a hot spring becomes pressurized and erupts. Think of it this way. All geysers are technically also hot springs, but not all hot springs are geysers. Most of the world's geysers are located in the United States, especially in the West, as well as Iceland and New Zealand. Here is an interesting fact about Old Faithful. It gets its name because it erupts on a very regular basis. It is estimated that each eruption discharges about 3,700 to 8,400 gallons of water. And the jets of water can rise to heights of over 180 feet. Now that we have learned about geysers and hot springs, let's do an experiment together. We are going to simulate our own geyser. First things first, though. Make sure you have an adult you trust help you with this experiment. That is because we are dealing with hot water and steam that can be dangerous if you are not careful. Here is what you will need to get started. A pot, a stove, aluminum foil, water, and a funnel. Don't worry, we will wait until you are ready. And here are the steps of the experiment. First, fill the pot with water. Place it on the stove. Second, place the funnel in the pot upside down. Make sure you leave enough space for the top of the spout to be above the water. Third, cover the pot with aluminum foil, making sure the top of the funnel spout pokes through the layer of foil. Fourth, Turn on the heat. Heat the water until it is boiling. Fifth, watch as water and steam shoot out from the top of the spout. 
Remember to be cautious and not stand too close to the hot steam or water. They can both burn you if you are not careful. Last, have an adult carefully turn off the stove and then draw a picture of the process. Wow, that was fun. Thanks for learning about geysers and hot springs and then experimenting with us. And don't forget to share what you have learned. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.